it just seemed like the perfect combination of you know academics. Uh, I was really interested in engineering, uh, and then you know, I took a look at their football team. Uh, you know, a great winning record overall. You know, really good pride on the team, and everybody kind of really uh, is devoted to the program. So that just kind of sold it for me. He's going to be much faster, quicker than a lot of the offensive linemen he's going against. I was switching from linebacker. You know, I got the stigma in me that I'm like, all right, well, I got to be more athletic than the guy in front of me. It's a great play by Michael Gray. He just ran around that offensive tackle. He's not got the size of a lot of defensive ends, but he's got the speed. I've been injured um, all throughout high school in my first couple of years here, and so you know my interest in football kind of dwindled a little bit. Um, but this past, uh, you know, my last season uh, and this season that we've been having so far, you know, it's really uh, revamped my love for the sport. I think the caliber of student, um, it's not even just the coaches. I mean, the university itself recruits a particular type of person. Uh, you can walk up to anybody, you know, any stranger, knock on their door, and they'll invite you in. Um, you can sit you down on the couch, ask you if you want anything. Um, you just don't find it anywhere else. These are the type of people where it's almost uncomfortable how long they'll hold the door for you. I mean, you have to, you could be 20 yards away and they're just smiling at you and just waiting for you to come up to them. And I just didn't see that at any other university. I tell you, he represents our program very well in the community and on the campus here. He's a teacher's assistant in the engineering department. He's been part of uh, uh, internships right here at, on campus every summer. So uh, people respect him here on our campus, and that's what we want. We want people to know our players are more than just football players. They're well-rounded individuals, bright young men, that you can put responsibilities on them. I mentioned before, you know, I had a lot of injury trouble uh, earlier in my career. Uh, you know, with it being non-scholarship football, I really could have easily just put it down, focused on my academics. Um, but you know, now here I am in my fifth year, um, you know, starting off with a pretty good season. You know, I just love to see that you know, I've made all these accomplishments academically, uh, and then here we are, we're working on our second title. Uh, so if we could get there, that would be great. What we saw out of Michael Gray at Sycamore High School was very athletic. I mean, uh, speed, agility, strength, all those factors. He was raw. Uh, he needed some uh, polishing there to become a better football player. But he had all the basic athletic skills. And then plus, he was an outstanding student, wanted to study engineering. And, and we love those type of individuals in our program. Uh, well, my dad was a chemical engineer, um, so you know, it was almost like a, you know, I was predestined for it. Um, I was pretty good at math and science growing up. Uh, you know, just as any other kid in high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, so I figured I'd try and follow in my, you know, my dad's footsteps. Uh, and then you know, Dayton's chemical engineering program, I met with the professors, uh, and they really kind of sold me on it. It's a great experience. Uh, I mean, you, know, you really play for the guys and, and the caliber of student that they recruit, student athletes. I mean, it's almost bar none. I mean, with the players and, and they take you in as a family um, and same with the coaching staff it's such a friendly you know home relationship um, that, you know, it's almost like you're not even away from home you got your new family here uh, so it's just a great experience overall